Hi guys, it's Benios here, and I'm going to teach you how to get the secret achievement in Geometry Wars 3 called Gatherer. This is a grinding achievement, requires 1 million geomes in Adventure Mode. First of all, play through the game. It is fantastic. Uh, we want to go to the last level, level 49, called Super Sequence. This mode, we will be using the Collect Drone and using the turret super. It's important to note we're not going for a high score here. This is just the easiest way to collect geomes. So to start with, we'll get the pinwheel guys. If you haven't played this level before, what happens is you get a sequence, hence the name super sequence, you get a sequence of enemies that come at you one as a group, just one group of the same type of enemy. Once you are close to uh, Finishing that sequence, the next sequence starts. Problem being that if you die, then you lose that sequence. So there are some levels that I'll be saying that you shouldn't really die on, or you should try not to die on, um, because we'll lose a lot of geomes. This second one, as you can see from the first one we did, pinwheel guys just go around the outside, avoiding them. You shouldn't have any problems with this. The second one, you want to clear out a big space in the bottom. It's the reason I say a big space because as you can see right there you can get a bad spawn sometimes and if you are have only just created a little gap for yourself that can kill you. Once these guys have spot stopped spawning we're going to start moving around the outside again staying close to the pack so we can collect as many GMs as possible. Again your collect drone will do a lot of this work for you. Just keep going around the outside. These, these early levels are a bit of a you know pain to stay awake during to be perfectly honest with you because it's not mad and later on in the game it gets a bit crazy so just keep killing these guys get as close as possible don't fall into the trap of just trying to barrel through the middle you'll lose gms this way so your collector drone will do a lot for you sec this is the third of our waves these guys are a bit of a pain but they're dead easy to kill just stay close to the pack they gravitate towards gms a bit like me really so you want to stay close to them so you can collect them as you kill them, but your collect drone will do most of the work in this level. This will be your first big toughie, this wave full of blue guys. They spawn in this grid-like pattern, as you can see. So the best way to do it is to move in a either clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. It doesn't particularly matter. You just want to keep threading the needle as they spawn. A big, big group will spawn behind you and start following you. These guys are golden if you get to the end of this sequence what what we're going to do is use our first turret in this level now interestingly with the turret it's a super for your drone so it will emanate from your drone not from yourself so if your drone is you know disappeared somewhere collecting off geomes then he will be useless to you but if you get it just right like that you can get big big geomes in this level this is a wave sequence. If you've played any kind of Geometry Wars 2 or the third one, if you've played a lot of it, you'll run into this waves type sequence. Um, on this one, I do actually die. I chose this uh, one to show you because it's, I got a, a lot of gems in this run. Again, it's not massively important if you die. There you go. So I will not get the rest of my wave sequence. This is, in my opinion, the worst wave just because it's not really any use to us. The ball guys, you can't gather them. There's no way to really, you know, herd them up to collect the most amount of geomes. What I like to do is just hide in the corner and basically spam through the middle. The, uh, the your collect will your collect drone will disappear around and gather gather them up. You shouldn't really need to use a turret or a bomb, but if you feel threatened, absolutely use it. But if you were to die on this level, it's not the end of the world. You're not really missing out on much. But to uh, complete the level, if you're brave enough, you can just jump out and collect some geomes. So get your super state, and these guys are a pain. Because if you don't kill them, they'll disappear off screen. But the beauty of them is you get massive amounts if you hit it right. So just pull backwards ever so slightly, because they come at you, and then just shoot them down. This, again, is one of the worst waves to come up against, just for frustration value. But it can have really, really big payouts. This is a, a sequence I would suggest really trying not to die on so what we're doing here is just going around the outside cutting into the corner that we want to go to and uh, creating a path for ourselves eventually these guys will stop spawning i cut it close a few too many times here for comfort but here we go so they've stopped spawning as you can see there's a big pile of them so shoot behind you 
and around in a circle and you get a massive payout. So at this point, it's pretty much the point of you're about five minutes in, you've got a big, big collection of geomes. Your green guys, they're probably going to kill you. I use two bombs in this level to stay alive. But at this point, if you can get to this point and you've still got a life left, you're pretty golden, to be honest. So there's my first bomb, just because I was feeling really uncomfortable with it. So they spawn. There's There will always be one edge that they don't spawn. I'm not great with these green guys. I'm really not comfortable with them. They're a bit of my Achilles heel in this game. But I managed to survive the ways by using bombs. So these snakes are the bane of my life. So as you can see... By hitting their bodies will not kill them, you can only kill them in the head. So once they start to group up like they are on the left hand side, now it's really really hard to actually get in and kill them. Using a turret here is okay, but your turret has the same problem. If you hit its body, it doesn't really do anything. A bomb is good, useful, I didn't really have time to use one, and I've used them both up. So this is the last sequence that I'll show you because once you get to this point look you've got 7,000 geomes it's a great great little learner these guys are really annoying again like with the snakes it's almost the opposite of the snakes hitting them in the head will not kill them you have to wait until they're past you um, they gather up a bit too close fast for me and eventually I die but 7,200 geomes is fantastic for about five minutes work so in my opinion, easiest way to get your million geomes. But what I'm going to show you here is actually how to do your uh, wave sequence. It's a sequence that I don't die in so that you can see basically how it's done. So once you get through these little uh, ones, what I like to call the little waves, you'll eventually get to big, big waves that will span the entire side of the map. So what I like to do is just stand in the middle, just like this, don't move, and pick a spot and just carve your way out. You've got enough room on the top and bottom to see where they're coming from. I do cut it close a few times, like there, but that's basically the way to do it. Carve yourself a little gap. What you'll see now is they stop spawning, so I can start shooting into a like, middle point it from a middle point into a corner and just collect the gems. It's a good little learner if you can get that far. Again, if you die in this sequence, it's not a big deal. So, kill most of them, go into your corner of choice and get shooting. Thanks guys.